Kenji B and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I have some new hair. I have box braids. I literally just got them done a couple hours ago. So I thought I would give you guys an updated version of what I do to loosen my tight braids. I know you guys love that video so much. It's got some of the most views on my channel. So I figured I would give you like an updated version of what I'm doing. And this time the process I use to do to loosen my braids is also the same exact way I moisturize my hair. So it's kind of like a double video. And I always start my hair like this. So first things first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that button. It's gonna be down there and there's a big, kind of big, bell icon right next to it. Make sure you click that button. We just make sure that you guys get notifications on time, right when I post them. And without further ado, let us get straight into the video. So, as I said, I just did my hair a couple hours ago. That's why it's still like a little stiff. It is moving because I already dipped it in the warm water. But as you can see, it is slightly stiff. It will loosen up as the days go on, obviously. But for now, I'm showing you how to loosen your tight braids. For me, I always use the same lady to braid my hair. My hair is never too tight. She braids it perfectly. So on me, my braids are not actually that tight, but I still like to do the process anyway, just because it makes my scalp feel nice and comfortable. And remember, when you go and braid your hair, once the person starts braiding, once you have like three, four braids in, you can feel the tightness. If it's too tight, make sure you tell the stylist or whoever is doing your hair to loosen their grip a little bit because that's like irreversible if it's extremely tight to the point where the hair is coming out of your roots this is not really going to help it might ease your pain but it's not going to help your hair not break or come out from your scalp so make sure first things first that's what you do so now for the mixture it's similar to what i do last time but different at the same time so for the base i already have this in my little spray bottle there's only one thing in here and it is rice water i hope you can see so this is just my own homemade mixture of rice water um, I've been using rice water for a while now. I didn't want to do anything on my channel on it first because I was just testing it out. I didn't know if it was worth the hype or not or how good it was. So I didn't want to start doing videos about it before I actually try it on myself. And I must say, it works. So if you want a video on rice water, how I make it and what it does, make sure you leave a comment in the section below and give this video a like so I know that you guys are interested in seeing more information about rice water. So that's what is in here. Always make sure you put the water first just because it controls how much you add. So next ingredient I add to the rice water is this 3 Minute Miracle Aussie, Aussie Moist. Um, this just helps keep the hair quite moisturized but also it makes the water smell better because well it smells like rice but rice water kind of like ferments, so like, you know what I mean? It won't smell so great. So it softens the hair and makes it smell good. So I don't put a specific amount. You can put as little as much as you want, as, as long as it doesn't make this mixture like a cream, it should still be very liquidy. So I just squeeze about that much in. So basically like a full tablespoon, or you can count to three, and that's the amount I put. And then I get some tea tree oil this is my favorite one it is affordable it's pure tea tree oil i can guarantee you you don't need like a name brand or whatever kind of tea tree oil as long as the ingredients are pure 100 percent tea tree oil it is pretty fine there's nothing that special about sort of other brands so i like it to tingle on my scalp so um i would recommend about four to five drops but if you like the strong feeling of like the tingling sensation on your scalp which is what i like and really helps relieve the tension on my scalp I use about 9 to 10 drops. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. And then I do the exact same thing with peppermint oil. And this also adds to that nice, fresh feeling on your scalp. And whenever you feel that tingling sensation, you know that it is stimulating blood to flow to your brain, to your brain, blood to flow to your scalp, which in turn leads to hair growth. It stimulates hair growth. Yeah, whatever. Put the amount that you have. But um, if you only have peppermint oil or only have tea tree oil, they still work fine. But too much of everything is bad. Do not put pure tea tree oil or peppermint oil on your scalp. It will burn you. So once you have everything mixed in, all you need to do is shake it up. And the water is warm, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I like to use warm water, but not hot. It shouldn't be scalding hot where you spray it on yourself and it kind of burns. But also, it shouldn't be like, luke, like lukewarm. 
what I do is start parting the hair. So put it all back and then I start to make sections. So if your hair is braided too tight, you won't want to flip it over. I can easily flip mine over as you can see, even though I just braided it today. That's because like I said, the person who braids my hair doesn't do it loose. But if your hair is too tight and probably why you clicked on this video, then you don't want to do that. All you need to do is just lift the hair with your hands. You can separate it however you like as long as you have access to the scalp and don't spray the braids this is really not necessary we're trying to minimize the frizz so you're just spraying this strictly on your scalp and you, all you need to do is this like that and literally just push the product in no rubbing that definitely causes frizz so you want to take quite big sections depending on how far or wide depending on how far wide your sprayer is. Mine sprays pretty wide, so I really don't have to make small parts. If you don't wanna do this yourself, you can also get someone to help you do it, but it is pretty easy. So there, literally, that took me less than five minutes. My entire scalp is nice and damp. It has all the spray all over it. And of course, whatever little hair is close to the scalp also has it. Next, what I like to do is get my favorite oil, whatever oil that is. So this is just an oil mix I made. So this has um, the base is avocado oil, and then I added in some castor oil, a little bit of peppermint, a little bit of tea tree, and that's it. So for this one, instead of doing the lines again and moving the hair about, all you're going to do is this. You're going to put some of the oil on the tips of your fingers. You will rub your fingers together and then go through your scalp and just massage softly. So you're going to want to put the oil on your fingertips at least two to three times, just to make sure you have enough oil all over your scalp, but not too much. So this is what my fingers look like. And then I literally just put it through my hair like this and I massage in little circles. It's more like putting pressure on your skin and moving the skin with your fingers rather rather than rubbing your fingers. So I'm not doing this when I'm massaging. I'm literally doing this. And if you'd like to see the old version of what I used to do with my hair, I'll link it in the eye um, so you can click on that and probably at the in the description box as well. So now I'm done. There's literally nothing on my hands, but I just rub it down anyway just to make sure if there's any flyaways or anything. And my hair feels so nice and moisturized. My scalp is tingling, I feel relaxed. And that is literally what I do to loosen my braids. After you do this, literally in like five minutes, you feel a good difference. Once the tingling stops, you feel your scalp nice and eased and much less tight. So, um, if your braids are too tight, I mean, if they're so tight to the point where they're coming out, I would just tell you to undo them, unless you don't care about your hair that's growing underneath. A maximum of twice will be good enough because you do not want to create unwanted frizz. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you'd like to see as my next video. Give me some suggestions, ideas. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you didn't in the beginning. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!